Good morning, folks. Starting with that video from Sun's Flare yesterday that a lot of people are talking about. We do have an unidentified comet on the Stereo BHI-2, but NASA misses a lot of these things. Let's try to figure out if this is actually something significant. Now, Stereo BHI-2 on the right here, both Earth and Jupiter are currently in the view. I will give you the link to find which planets are visible on Stereo. Here is the position of the Stereo spacecraft in orbit around the Sun on Earth's orbital line. B is the one we're looking at now, and its HI2 camera looks just to the side of the Sun. Remember, Jupiter geocentrically opposed the Sun last weekend, so it's still in that line of sight containing the Earth. Now that means this thing, this little unidentified comet, is somewhere on the line of sight. And in my opinion, it's likely close to the spacecraft and happens to be in the line of sight of Earth, not close to Earth. If this was headed right for Earth at that distance, that would make this bigger than the moon by two or three times, and I know you Australians wouldn't miss that in the sky. Uh, for another example, if this was all the way out near Jupiter, it would be almost the size of Jupiter. I consider it far more likely that this is a small comet passing luckily just in front of the line of sight, pretty close to the Stereo B spacecraft. Moving on, just wanted a little smile here. Someone send this to the Thunderbolt so they can clap, then laugh, like I did. After yesterday's seven-pointer in Japan, New Zealand took a large tremor that rang 6.3 on most official charts. Bofa's little friend has a name, Tropical Cyclone Claudia. Not sure she has any idea where she's headed. But Bofa, on the other hand, re-strengthened in the South China Sea and is unbelievably going to tag the Philippines again. There's already over 500 dead there. This is the low that froze Scotland yesterday. And that cold air sweeping in the backside is now putting the screws to France. The lows looking like they want to meet is the coldest and warmest air on Earth. Talk about difference potential in moisture, heat, energy, and pressure. Thunderstorm watches tonight and tomorrow. Follow up to yesterday, remember even the coldest December ever won't keep 2012 from being the hottest ever, and we're breaking heat records every day in December. The North Pacific low has moved on to the mainland, perhaps he saw his big brother coming in behind him. Come back to that in a later video. Remember the lows in the north spin counterclockwise and pull air accordingly. The back ends of these storms are going to be freezing cold. And trust me folks, a large portion of the United States is about to take the worst winter storm yet this year. In fact, I think they need to name this now. Here's your temperature delta, FYI. That is a reading of negative 47 degrees Fahrenheit up at the top. Solar wind speed is still under 300 kilometers per second, still counts as being way, way low in my book. Not surprising though that the flux gate magnetometer is flatline, the induction magnetometer is quiet, and then there is no red spike indicating plasma penetration. While there were not any earth facing eruptions, eyes on the top right. Now to get a better look at that blast around the corner, we'll need the other stereo. From the angle of stereo A here, the blast should be on the top left. Another example of popping off away from Earth. It may be about to happen again as this departing sunspot is developing as well. We do also have development on the eastern limb turning towards us, already bipolar and worth watching. Dark coronal hole up top, thin plasma filaments snaking around mid-latitudes. Eyes open, no fear at 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.